Hey, this is Elon, and I'm gonna show you how to use your automatic watch, which has a screw down crown. The screw down crown is very important because it maintains the water resistance on the watch. What does that mean? As you can see here, the crown is locked in place. I can't pull it out. Now, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna manually wind the watch before I wear it the first time. Even for an automatic watch, a lot of people think you could just shake it and put it on. That's usually not enough. You wanna give it a good solid 40 winds before you put it on your wrist and that way your wrist movement the mainstream will the mainspring will be tight and your wrist movement will maintain the power reserve moving forward so how do we do that we have the watch right here and if i try and manually wind it as you can see it's in that locked closed position so i'm going to wind it back toward myself okay now i'm unscrewing the crown i'll feel it disengage it actually clicks there i can actually feel it disengage now when i wind it forward so it's been disengaged, it's not screwing back down. It's actually winding the watch. So I could turn it here forever and it won't screw back down, but it will wind the movement. So that's very important. That's the first thing I wanna do. I wanna give it a bunch of winds. Then if I wanna set the date, I never set the date at anywhere near the 12 o'clock position like this. I will always move it closer to the six o'clock position because that protects the date wheel. And I will push in all the way again. So now I'm in that first position. I'll give a light pull toward myself. And as I turn the crown, you can see the date starts to change. I don't know if it's visible there, but there you go, the date's changing. So there's three positions to the crown. There's all the way out. When I pull it all the way to the final position, that's the time setting position. All the way in is the manual wind position. And in that middle position right there, that little click is the date setting position. Okay. Now when I'm ready to close the watch, I push into that first position and then I apply more pressure. You see that? Just that little bit of pressure. You can actually hear the click and I turn. Now the crown has caught onto the ridge and it will screw all the way back down. So now, as you can see, it's locked in place. I don't need to hyper tighten it, that's fine. It's not necessary. I just need to make sure that it's locked in place. And again, if I wanna unscrew it, I just roll it back toward myself. I just felt it disengage like a little pop and then I can wind it manually. And as you can see, it's not catching. When I'm ready to put it back in, I give it a little push and I turn and as you can see, it's caught and it's back in. So that's how you use your timepiece.